Hi everybody, my name is Anthony. I'm the Education Program Director with Mudhole Custom Tackle, and today we're gonna to talk about building inline spinner kits. These lures are affordable, easy to build, and some of the most universal lures out there. And you can find a link to all of our lure kits in the description below. Inside of your lure building construction kit, you'll find your wire forms. These will hold all of the different pieces onto your lure. Two different size hooks. Two sizes and two colors of beads to help your blades spin more freely. A 16th and an 8th ounce weighted body. Two different sizes and colors of clevises to attach the blade to the body. We offer three different blade types in our inline spinner kits. The Willow, the French, and the Colorado. We'll focus on building the Colorado blade today. And the tools we'll need to put these inline spinners together are round nose pliers and cutting pliers. To assemble our inline spinner, we're gonna start with our wire form and we're gonna take a treble hook of your choosing. There will be a size six and a size 10 in your kit. And we're gonna drop the treble hook onto the J hook at the bottom of the wire body. Next, we will choose a weighted body and we will drop this down on the top of the wire form and pinch the J hook at the bottom. Slide the wire, the weighted body over top of the J hook Next, we'll grab a couple beads if you're choosing. I grab the larger beads. If you are using the smaller beads, feel free to use more than one. And slide the bead down the wire form. Next, we will grab a clevis, as well as the blade of your choosing. Slide the clevis through the hole in the blade and slide that down the wire body. The blades will be concave. Make sure it hugs the weight of the lure. Next, grab another bead and slide that down. If you are using the small ones, feel free to use more than one here. Now it's time to finish the lure. This is where we'll be using our round nose pliers. Pinch the round nose pliers about a half inch above your last bead. Twist, them, twist the wire body down. About 270 degrees. And twist the excess wire around the main wire form. Once you've twisted that around twice, last step is to cut the excess wire. Now your lure is finished and you're ready to go fishing. These lures are also extremely easy to customize. And you can find more of our lure kits by clicking the link below or going to mudhole.com. Thank you for watching.